A packed, tense courtroom. Counsel and co-counsel dressed in black anxiously await opening arguments. Why not? This is a murder trial. Jesse Herring killed Ellie Ganser to cover up his affair with her. At the end of today's trial, the state of Washington will ask you to deliver Ellie Ganser justice and find Jesse Herring guilty. The defendant, Jesse Herring. He isn't always the most truthful person in the world, which has come back to bite him. Still, not everyone believes he's guilty. He was at home with his wife, who was dying of cancer. He's a very um, young lawyer with a brilliant future, and he's worked with so many organizations. He doesn't have a violent past. What about the victim's abusive husband? Could he have done it? He was kind of like a rough and tough kind of guy, like no one's fool. And he, well, and he's smart because he runs his own car dealership. And I guess people view him differently. We should have lived our happy ever after, but I, I drove her away. It may not add up to murder, just a compelling courtroom drama. These are local high school students pretending to be lawyers in a mock trial. Much of the case was made up by real life Superior Court Judge William Downing and his co-writer. Downing has held court over King County's YMCA mock trial competition for the last 19 years, creating dozens of fictitious cases around real social issues. This year, 16 local high school teams competed against each other. They were graded by King County judges and attorneys. The cases may not be authentic, but the civics lessons sure are. It doesn't have to do with the merits of the case. We try to make it arguable both ways, like a debate topic. Um, but uh, it's the presentation of the attorneys on their feet, the witnesses' acting ability on the witness stand. Those are the things that, that earn the points and determine the winner. And the teams go all out. I know his wife had cancer and all, but all that time together, in the office, out the office, during hours, after hours, I mean, Jesse was enamored with Ellie. I recognize the red leather material from the purse that we found near Ellie's body. Also that the purse is missing a zipper gripper and the zipper gripper is missing a purse. Well, he, he smashed a lamp and broke some dishes. And, well, it was when I saw my favorite porcelain unicorn on the ground in shards that I realized all chivalry was dead. Where would you par park a black Porsche Carrera? Ugh, my true love. Am I blushing? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, be parked up front as well. <laughs> but it's not all courtroom theatrics. The Washington State Supreme Court ruled in State v. Boland that the location of the search does not determine reasonableness under Washington law. The trashing question today was at a public rest stop that was generally accessible to anyone. If a person does not have an expectation of privacy in a trash can right in front of his own home, then the defendant does not have an expectation of privacy in a trash bin at a public rest stop. It includes uh, analytical ability, um, the ability to put together a, a cogent argument on your feet, public speaking, uh, th uh, thinking on your feet. It uh, also involves such things as teamwork. It's one of the best programs at our high school. It definitely prepares you for college. Uh, I think a lot about whether I want to go to law school or not. Before I was in mock trial, I would not raise my hand in class, you know. I would be shy, I won't talk to that much people. Like, through mock trial, I've gained so much confidence. I would never be a person to go up and give a five minute speech from memory ever in front of anyone, even my parents. Like, that's how bad I was about public speaking and getting out in front of people and over the last four years it's really helped with confidence and making me able to face problems that I have and not and handle them rationally and just really helped me take control of situations and be able to say I can do this. For the the 98 percent that participate in the program that don't go to law school they become better citizens, uh, better voters, uh, better consumers of the media, better uh, 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 opinion holders as they go about their daily lives. So how does this trial end? Is Jesse Herring guilty? You decide. Jesse Herring chose murder. He drove Ellie the half mile from Simon's Herring Creek lookout over Snook Snook Ripper. And the next morning, that's where Ellie's dead body was found with Jesse Herring's blood beneath her fingernails. 
But as for Mr. Herring, he cannot be tied to the scene, had no motive, intent, or premeditation. All of these things, any of these things, create reasonable doubt. For that reason, take control of today's trial and find Jesse Herring not guilty of the charges against him.